That looks pretty good. It's not going to match up perfectly. Oh yeah, it looks good. Okay, it's not quite more perfection. Okay, and then I have to do a knot. So this pin here is uh, one of the ones that I had to drill and another one of them is here. So on this one here, it seems like I salvaged the threads because like the pin is threading properly on the actual steel uh, plate, but the pin block. So if I, if I push on that string, you can see like the, the pin is spinning, right? So there's no, there's no grab into the pin block. So what I'm going to have to do is fix the pin block underneath that pin. So from underneath here, you can see like that's the one that I was trying to uh, put this tension on the string. That's the other one that's beside it that I, I know I might have an issue as well. And then there was a third one that I'll, I'll have to go back on my video to uh, see which one it was, it was somewhere around here. So <clears throat> I'm, I'm gonna most likely do a, like a, a hole here and plug fill, so like make a, probably like a three quarter or maybe a little bigger hole and uh, put a plug, uh, a maple plug in there. And then from the top drill uh, a hole. So th those spins are seven mil. So I'll drill six mil from the top and then uh, I should be able to create threads with the pins after that.
So I made this uh, little jig here. Uh, so what I do is uh, put the string right in through here. Then I'm gonna do two loops around that pin, which is the same diameter of the pins on the, the piano. So I'm gonna go do one and two, like that. I'll try to get it real tight. Then I have to go around the string twice. So I hold it up like so, and then I go around twice. Like that, I'm gonna cut the excess off. There you go. Each string needs a knot like that. Then I put my pin here, so that's the next one over here. I'm gonna put a clamp so it doesn't slide off. Now when I removed the strings a while ago, I made this template. So I've got the treble side length, I've got the bass side length, I have my damper height, but uh, so what I'm doing is I'm putting it against the pin, pull it tight, and that's where I need to cut it. So that's going to hook in the pin like so. And I'm putting upward pressure so it, it gets tight in a nice fashion all tight coils as tight as possible anyway now back here hook it on onto the pins here then I can bring it to pitch At this point I've got the first course of string installed uh, they're just like close to pitch uh, I just want to have somewhat the tension it's not fully tuned I'm not gonna do that myself I'm gonna have my piano technician doing that for me uh, but at this point I can start installing the double strings and the triple strings uh, so I'll do the same thing I did for all the singles so starting at C and then in the middle and then just moving side to side with the C and then I move to F and side to side with the F just to keep the tension the same. And then I went back to C sharp and then after that F sharp and D and uh, so on. So I, you get the idea. So that, that way you kind of move the tension pretty much the whole way in the, 
on the surface. So uh, next step, I'll do the same thing, starting at C again, but then I'm gonna do double strings, and then I'm gonna do double string C, and then the single, what, which is a double here, but it's a triple here, and then move with the back and forth like that with all the strings, and by the time I'm done, we'll be able to get started on the damper. So in the next video, basically we'll, uh, have all the strings on um, and then probably close to tension because it takes a few months uh, from what I understand to have them keep their pitch. So uh, next video I'll be working on the dampers uh, to change all the felts, re-glue them and then polish the ebony uh, because they're still full of gunk and stuff from uh, the dirt that was on this piano. So uh, once again I want to thank you all for stopping by and watching and until next time I wish you well.